What works in theory but not in practice? The education system. American system, K-8 is essential if done correctly. Emo, high schools aren't nearly as useful as trade schools, but most people don't know what they want to do with life until they are soon to graduate. So the current education system works better than a lot of other systems. I was recently shower thinking about how they should have a university track and a technical track when you get in high school. The only problem is the inherent social stratification that comes with that. The side effect could be more realistic expectations, better engagement from students who don't enjoy academia as much, and general better preparation for our labor force. Seriously, need to destigmatize tech schools. Communism for starters. Is communism for starters the same as communism for dummies? Employees. Honestly, nothing. If the practice is so divergent from the theory, then the theory has failed to consider very important things and it's not a working theory either. For example, people say this about communism all the time. That it works in theory but things like human greed and laziness or whatever else get in the way. If your socio-political system fails to take into the account human nature, you know, the people it organizes, then it's not even a good theory. Same applies to virtually all of these things. My dating advice. Mentality of the customer is always right. The customer is always right originally meant sell what customers want to buy not do whatever every entitled us hat that walks into your store wants. Maths works beautifully in theory. In practice, it makes certain physically impossible assumptions. Majority of theoretical math is completely pointless. Greater than pointless the rest is geometry. Civil discussion on the internet. Fuck you. You're a filthy liberal. Asking your crush out. Works though. Either you get a date, or can get on with your life. Absolute win. Any kind of overly restrictive diet. In theory, if you stick to only eating say, plain lean meat, vegetables and water you'll lose tons of weight. But in practice we're all human and can't stick to it. It works. I lost, and have kept off, a lot of weight by restricting my diet. Not so much the what, but the how much. And once you can reliably restrict how much you're eating, you just kind of magically want to eat healthy things. That doesn't mean I don't eat slash drink pizza, donuts, ice cream, tons of cocaine, fast food, beer, soda, etc. Those things just became the exception, rather than the norm. A slash hol up. Always telling the truth. The trick is to be honest 99% of the time. That way people will believe you that 1% of the time when you need to tell a big lie. I always try to be 99% honest, 1% of the time. That way, my friends are like damn, Roger that kid is a lying sack of shit, but maybe he isn't as bad as we thought. Friends with benefits. The three seashells. Theory and practice are the same in theory, but not in practice edit, OMG, my first silver, thanks. But what if you had a practical theory and you practice it in a theoretical way? Then you've practically theorized that your praxis is theoretically impractical. Deleted. Communism. Most of the opinions in r slash a myth arsehole. Am I the arsehole for thinking r slash a myth arsehole is a bunch of assholes? Utter. Validation post. Personality tests. They're fun little things to do in your spare time or as a work event, but the way some people take them so seriously is embarrassing. Also the point of them is to tell you aspects of yourself to help you better cope with others who are the opposite of you. Instead people run around clutching their I'm an INTJ I'm introverted leave me alone forever I should never have to do any public speaking. Pearls. I say this as someone who received the INTJ result a while ago. I think this is part of the reason so many of the newer age personality tests focus on emotional intelligence rather than personality aspects. AKA who can lead, who can analyze the details, and who can negotiate between the two, etc. I agree. I find the MBTI to be a useful tool for helping one achieve more self-awareness. That said, the goal of the tool should be to help you see where you can grow in other areas. 
When I learned that I was an ENTJ, it didn't make me want to become a better ENTJ. I started reflecting on how I often don't stop think about how I feel about things or how other people feel about things when I make decisions. It also made me want to focus more on details and to be more spontaneous. Two-party political systems. This doesn't even work in theory though. Hot tub sex. Wet skin on wet skin, super slippery. Wet penis in wet vagina, somehow not slippery at all. There's a reason why water is used as a lubricant in absolutely nothing. Religion. On paper everybody is part of a community of people focusing on bettering themselves and helping others. In practice people use it to divide, control, and hurt others. It's not even religion it's everything. It's bad humans attempting to impose their will on someone else. That's what I believe. I'm not religious by any means but I can't blame religion for extreme wrongdoings in the world. It's the extreme adherents who greatly misinterpret the messages of what slash who they believe in. For example, it's not like the Quran is telling extremist Islamic groups to inflict violence upon apostates because they must purify the world, it's the extremist Islamic groups telling themselves that. Those select groups are 100% misinterpreting the message of their faith and unjustly imposing their will on others. Communism slash socialism. Sounds great until you encounter the logistics of mass scale economics without pricing information. Zip emerging, in theory works amazingly. In practice it would mean that everyone has to do it for it to work as it does on paper or example. Drivers are selfish dickheads so it will never be performed by enough people at the same time to work, especially in major cities. It works in Germany, it's properly taught and encouraged, so it works. In the US, nobody is taught and you're expected to do what you want when merging. I mean, it's definitely taught in the US and mentioned in a lot of states Department of Transportation websites and the driver's handbook. It's just that nobody cares. Thinking you can fight when you've had no training. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda, and I have over 300 confirmed kills. I am trained in guerrilla warfare and I'm the top sniper in the entire US armed forces. You are nothing to me but just another target. I will wipe you the fuck out with precision the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth, mark my fucking words. You think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet? Think again, fucker. As we speak I am contacting my secret network of spies across the USA and your IP is being traced right now so you better prepare for the storm, maggot. The storm that wipes out the pathetic little thing you call your life. Your fucking dead, kid. I can be anywhere, anytime, and I can kill you in over 700 ways, and that's just with my bare hands. Not only am I extensively trained in unarmed combat, but I have access to the entire arsenal of the United States Marine Corps and I will use it to its full extent to wipe your miserable ass off the face of the continent, you little shit. If only you could have known what unholy retribution your little clever comment was about to bring down upon you, maybe you would have held your fucking tongue. But you couldn't, you didn't, and now you're paying the price, you goddamn idiot. I will shit fury all over you and you will drown in it. You're fucking dead, kiddo. Capitalism, the sad thing is it's one of the least broken systems that has been tried. It works quite well until some individuals win and start using their money making feedback loops start fucking with things. What's even sadder is capitalism at the very least does recognize this. If a company gets too much market power that they can interrupt the natural flow of competition, basic capitalism sees this as a market failure and government intervention is necessary. The problem is lobbying lines the pockets of every politician that can do something about it and the market never gets corrected. If we give tax cuts to the wealthy, they will pay people better blah blah blah. If you have the money, why would they really just give it away? Is that the rationale behind tax cuts to rich people? I never knew. It does not, even in theory, sound like it would translate to reality. 
trickle down economics https colon slash slash n dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash trickle down underscore economics was a whole thing for a while it doesn't work in reality though like many economic theories it's great on paper because on paper you can ignore the innate human traits of selfishness and greed in reality, businesses will always pay as little as possible for labor and goods. So cutting the taxes on businesses in hopes that they'll raise wages doesn't work, as the business owner is just going to pocket that money. Some argue that cutting taxes on businesses means that the business owners will start spending more, which will boost the economy. But that hasn't really been proven true yet. Being yourself, tin openers do not work for me. Look up a can opener that doesn't cut the lid but pops it off. You can reseal the cans this way. Coolest thing. Communism. Yes. Communism works if everyone can set aside their greed, jealousy, and lose the desire to be better than their neighbor. You know, those easily achievable things. You haven't met my neighbor. Guy's a piece of shit. Simple fake it till you make it confidence. It's one thing to stop being compulsively self-deprecating, but just acting confident doesn't really work to build your confidence. Insincere confidence is just as off-putting as palpable low self-esteem. I really think you need at least one thing, and it can be a small one, to feel confident about so you can call on that to help you feel confident in other areas of your life. Often the simple fit in confidence, with nothing to back it up, just comes across as making someone seem invisible, sort of oh, don't worry about me, I'm fine, attitude that makes people overlook you and not want to get to know you, fake it till you make it shouldn't mean that you're walking around like a pompous and arrogant jerk. It should mean exactly what you said about not being regularly self-deprecating and taking on new challenges even though it's scary.